Hi, I'm Chris. This is the Everyman's Auto Video Card Diary. Today we have the 2014 Audi A8 L TDI. That's right, we're talking diesel. No one's excited to talk about diesel, but those that are, they love diesel. And we're going to talk about this car right now because of it. You get a three liter, six cylinder diesel engine, makes 240 horsepower. Mm, sounds sad on the internet, but in reality, awesome. And the reason it's awesome is because attached to that 240 is 406 foot-pounds of torque. The car itself weighs almost 4,600 pounds, so 4,600 pounds plus 406 foot-pounds of torque equals a fairly uh, a car that feels light, actually. It doesn't feel 4,600 pounds heavy because that 406 foot-pounds of torque is very smooth. It wants you to go. Now, that engine is attached to an eight-speed uh, transmission. It does have flappy paddles on the inside. Don't use those. You're an idiot if you do. Uh, you get 24 on the, on the city. You get 36 on the highway. Now, uh, right now, 23.8-gallon tank plus the price of diesel at $3.79 means you're spending $90.20 to fill it. And if you only drive it in the city, you're getting 570 miles of range. If you only drive it on the highway, you're getting 856 miles of range. If you drive it at the combined number of 28 miles to the gallon, I got 27.7, your range becomes 666 miles. The good news about that, so if you're, you're filling up the car for $90 at diesel, diesel's 10 cents cheaper than premium right now, which all the other A8Ls have to use premium. Now, other places you save money. The car's base price is $83,000. That's $10,000 less than its competitor, which is the Mercedes S350 Bluetech, which I would love to drive that car now. My car, the one I drove, the Tester, base price $83,000. It actually, the, the, the total price was $96,000. And the reason it was $96,000 was because it came with a premium package, the luxury package, the dual sunroofs, you get two, rear seat can control theirs, um, the cold weather package, you got four heated seats, sorry, middle person in the back, no heated seat for you, and the driver's assistance package. Driver's assistance package was my favorite of all of them because yes you got a backup uh, camera so you can see behind you but you got a top view camera that combines a camera on the front camera on the back camera on the sides gives you a picture from above it gives you an a8 graphic in the middle and then the sensors on the front and the back like the beep 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 beep, beep you're about to hit stuff sensors they appear on the screen too so you can use the screen it's like playing old school video games like the car games where you used to drive from above which I'm probably good at because I'm not young I used that to do three-point turns on two-lane two road. It was very simple to use. It was fantastic. I loved it. I could just look at that and do it. This car is great. I would drive it from Maine to San Diego if anybody let me. If Audi, if you want me to do that and take pictures of it, I'll film it. Seriously, I've got that kind of time right now. Yes, I love the Audi interior. It's fantastic. The rear seat is massive. You can watch this video of me sitting in it now. There'll probably be some uh, elevator music attached. Boop, 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 boop. There's no elevator music. Enjoy it. Uh, look how big I am. I'm 6'4", 190, and that back seat kind of envelops me. Did we talk about the massaging seats? They're fantastic. Literally, I could turn on a Pandora station, uh, probably some either... Uh, uh, instrumental folk music or Indian flute radio, Native American, not 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 the country of India. And you could turn on the seat massager, turn on the nice cool climate control, and you could fall asleep in this car easily. It's so nice. But it also has the lane. Um, you're about to drive out of your lane warning system. There's probably a technical term for that. Lane. Uh, anyway, the steering wheel vibrates. You can turn it on, and as you start to drift out of your lane, the steering wheel goes boom, and you're like, what the heck was that? I'd, oh, I should probably stay in between the lines because, you know, I'm a considerate driver and paying attention. I love the 2014 Audi uh, A8 L TDI. Part of that problem is because I love all cars, and I, 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 I really just love all cars. But this is a specific car. It's kind of an economy luxury car because the engine makes up so much um, financially on the other variants that you have to pay attention to this car. You cannot ignore it. It's that awesome of a car. And I really liked it. It's so fun to drive. It's This is a car that literally, I want to see how far I can go in one of these cars. I, uh, seriously, Audi, please let me drive it from Maine to San Diego. No one will watch it. I mean, some people will watch it. Yo, what's the farther distance? Maybe we could drive to Alaska. Hmm. Who wants to see a diesel car go to Alaska? I do, but I'm going to probably have to buy it. So, anyway, that's all I've got. 
full written reviews, everymansauto.net. Uh, follow us on Instagram, at everymansauto. Sometimes I take pictures of what I'm driving before the videos are done. You can see that. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at everymansauto. That's just a look inside my head. If you don't want to get in there, please don't follow me on Twitter. I'm sorry. Uh, Facebook, you can search Everyman's Auto and like us there. Uh, some people who aren't actually my friends and family have liked it already there. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.